forward, a six foot eight sophomore from Los Angeles, California, number two, DeAndre Daniels. At goal. We were lucky enough to go up in a C-130 flight with UConn when they went on their flight a couple of days ago as DeAndre Daniels spins and scores. He looks like he's got all of his hops back. Well, he's a tremendous athlete, and it's like trying to block out Ray Lewis down low. How about Daniels for three? To be for Defy and Wolf, and we expect to see a freshman in the Colts score a little bit later. How about that? A tremendous move after that spin move he made on Russell Byrd. Well, Michigan State has not shown a lot of poise, but watch, watch him lift up here. Just a little up fake, and DeAndre Daniels was gone. For just about the entire game, they broke out early, and Michigan State has never really gotten right back into it. Daniels spins off, balance shot will go. First game in Europe, <laughs> using the Euro stuff. Did it. Nick's rejected by Daniels. Harris playing a lot more confidence here in the second half, but a rejection by Daniels. Quickly ahead to Daniels. Thought about it. Pulls up and hits. Dish that one off. You'd like to see the big fella take that one. Rub not ready for it. Daniels will finish. John Becker takes the timeout after the miscommunication on offense. Yeah, you've just got to have your hands ready. That was kind of a surprise chest pass that close to each other but Daniels takes advantage he's another freshman loses it numbers for both right the Huskies back to Daniels I with seven assists and this one will be on his highlight reel oh beautiful drop back pass that's I think it was another high ball screen over there boat ride decides not to use it uh, how about that he can beat you in a lot of different ways. The sophomore from Los Angeles, DeAndre Daniels. Even if it hadn't gone out of bounds and back to Connecticut, I'm not sure Evans wouldn't have been able to pick it up. Well, DeAndre Daniels, I was just thinking to myself, he has really been quiet in this first half. She's 0 for 3. DeAndre Daniels. Boy, he's, starting, he's lighting it up. Starting he, to feel it. You go through there, it's been pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> just the tenth time in conference history to have a freshman lead his team in scoring and rebounding. There is DeAndre Daniels. And to add to that a little bit. Uh, high ball screen. Watch it bolt right operate. DeAndre Daniels takes it in, laid it up and scored. As a tam, cutting through, had it blocked by DeAndre Daniels and by one. Usman, Usman Drame inside. Jackson had it rejected. And kicking it out, Dave Johnson for three. Back iron, Darby Young the rebound, takes it right back up, had it rejected by DeAndre Daniels. Daniels a tough move. Well, he went up against a seven footer and finished. Olander. Short on the shot, he's getting good looks. That was tipped up and in. They'll give the shot. Him a good pass. Oh, and now another just steal. Got away with one. Alley-oop for Daniels who laid it in. Nice pass. Shabazz Napier laying it up right in front of the rim. Snell took it up and it blocked. Chance to make it a two-point game with a deuce. Or even closer with a three. You bet. DeAndre Daniels, big three. Daniels missed both free throws, so it stays 5-2. Olander rips that one away. Good ball movement this time. Giffey an open three. Kept alive by Daniels, and UConn takes its first lead. These are very good one-on-one -on -one players, but they have to get other people involved. Daniels using the window. It looked a bit awkward going up, but DeAndre Daniels will take it. Way too much space now having a little conversation with his head coach while they're on offense. Good looking move off the dribble by Daniels. Back talking to your head coach while you're running back down the floor. Holy left hand, no. Second effort by Mayo, and he's called for a travel. Taking away Olander's left hand. He can't go right. A lot of contact, no call, and DeAndre Daniels puts it in. Right. Chandler Rhodes will play the point. There's an early turnover. DeAngelis has Napier to his left. Looked like Myron tried to foul him. No whistle. Finish. Rebound Myron. It was blocked from behind by Daniels. Then from Calhoun. And one thing about Kevin Ali, I mean, you can be around greatness, but you've got to pay attention. And clearly he has. Good 
Good recognition, though, by New Hampshire. UConn spread. Daniels ran the floor. He got down quicker than Myrick did, and he got the layup. Before the game at 5 o'clock, and where Manuel spoke to him. I think it's going to happen really soon. Well, after trailing most of the first half, up by four on UConn, five minutes into the second half. DeAndre Daniels, tough shot in traffic to make it a two-point game. Oh, you, know I keep saying. you give UConn the opportunity to get out and run, and it's going to be tough to defend them in transition. Baseline move and a good looking one by DeAndre Daniels. He's got four points. Now the Chambers hands late and he got it into Webster's hands, who's not as adept at creating his own look. Daniels again gets the roll. That's the thing they wanted to do early in the game, and that's what UConn is doing right here with Harvard. They're not able to attack within their offense. Another basket by DeAndre Daniels because it's just too hard to match up out of it when you're already in it. Napier drops it off. Daniels just does get it up in time. Wolf gives it up. Here's Daniels. He'll try a three this time. DeAndre Daniels has 13 points. This is, to me, just the perfect melding of system and players. And Tommy Amaker has a too many turnovers, and we let them make threes. We've got to change all three of those. Daniels working the baseline again. He has. If I baseline jumper, no, he has been quiet in this game, but that man has not. DeAndre Daniels does it again. He's up to 21 points. 10 on the shot clock. Napier drives. Looks for it. Bounces it down low. It gets involved in the offense there as Daniels is on the receiving end again. Gets the rebound. Three on two if they hurry. Napier shuffles it inside of Daniels. Good decision by Napier. Pitt has it taken away by Giffey. Napier gives to Daniels. Unselfish. Here's Boat right, three on two. Daniels left, Calhoun right. And the foul. 17 points a game, right? You got all those qualities. May started to go, and Daniels deflected it. Eight straight three point field goal attempts when he was in high school. Daniels with the fade in the lane. Nice yeah, Boy, they need some of that from him, huh? Yep. Now the shot clock's at 10. Cowell penetrates and dumps for a zero, and it's blocked from behind by Daniels. Boatwright had been five for five from three-point range tonight before that miss. The handoff, Wolf to Daniels. And here's Boatwright with Calhoun to his left. Coke store inside Daniels. This is Shabazz Napier and Ryan Boatwright. From the baseline, Dwayne Daniels has the first two. Frazier averages over 15 per game. Nice wraparound pass. Deflection turns to a steal for Napier. Quickly the other way, Daniels. And he throws it down. Warming up. I'm giving you a lot of credit now. You were sleeping in the first half. Now you're warming up to me a little bit here. I'm waiting to see what you got in store later on. All right. DeAndre Daniels nails the jump shot. UConn another possession. Daniels stepping back and hitting the 18-foot shot. Frazier misfires. Block shot by Daniels in your point. Nice pass, Daniels. Tough sellout, though. You don't want. UConn nine and two, Washington eight and four, and he's one for him. Daniels, what a little step and go. That's not good. He jumped to the ball. Well, they'll run a baseline cutter, and he'll be followed. Daniels knocks down the shot. Daniels. Comes Boat right. Good feed inside. Basket and a foul for DeAndre Daniels. Nice read. Wilson rejected inside by Daniels, but the Golden Eagles get a pick. Daniels knocks it down again. Napier nice. defeated side to Daniels for two. 
Look at the ball control <laughs> by this guy. How about the fire? <laughs> Underneath for DeAndre Daniels and Napier. Melvin and Daniels took it away. Three on two. Daniels right to the rim. Cleveland Melvin averaging 16 points per game and coming right back with the three is Daniels. Two fouls. Calhoun with the miss. Another rebound by Olander, then tipped in by Daniels. Daniels with the fade. Right, six foot Napier, six one are going to do. UConn plays against some of the teams in the Big East that are really long, like Georgetown defensively. Oh, that becomes a challenge. Melvin backing in on Daniels. And Daniels rejects it. Two point lead has now been trimmed to 12. Melvin thinking offense much more, but Utah not only beats the press, they attacked it. Crockett with the step through and the layup. And here's Daniel. He's got six points. Daniels. Looks like an instant replay of a, of a couple possessions ago. UConn ninth in the preseason poll. And Daniels with a couple of more. And the rebounding team, he doesn't have a, an Emeka Okafor he can go to Absolutely. anymore. And even with the transfer of Alex Oriaki missing out on the rebound of the interior, but their execution offensively. Daniels, oh, he fought it up over Connaughton. Hannafin to the bucket. Oh, blocked from behind by Daniels. They've been terrific in that area of the game. Wow. Right to Daniels for two. One thing you cannot do against this Louisville zone is just pass it around the perimeter. You have got to get the ball into the middle. Of the wow. DeAndre Daniels with the authoritative drive and dunk. Hayden Siva. Uh, Jay, you mentioned the ability to move guys around and attack. This is just terrific. Stretch that D. And the explosivity. Rebounds on the season. They have worked really hard on boxing out, on rebounding as an emphasis. Daniels open for three more. Sorry, he's shooting that with confidence. More. Got his hands on that one. Give it up. Yeah, he didn't give it up. And he dunks DeAndre Daniels. Well, Shabazz Napier was ahead on this break, but I think DeAndre Daniels said to himself, you know what? When was the last time they put somebody on the cover of Sports Illustrated for an assist? <laughs> that will come up again, I think. <laughs> I give it to you all game long. You can't reciprocate. Send it in. Whew. He has improved as a player. Nice pass. Shot. shot goes for DeAndre Daniels. He's the guy that's got to get UConn back in this game. UConn's gone four minutes without a field goal, and that ends right there as Daniels drops it down. What a tough shot by Daniels. There's DeAndre Daniels. He'll try an 18-footer, and Daniels is on the board. In the middle for Connecticut. Daniels thought about it and then pulls the trigger on the second option. So, you know, why not? I was recruited as a shooter, and he missed it. And in transition, the alley -oop to DeAndre Daniels. Well, sometimes, Kevin, when it rains as a player, it pours. And you're trying to put a little extra something on that layup, but not being basic enough. And it costs you on one end, and then doubly costs you on the other for Rutgers. In transition, seven points now for DeAndre Daniels to 500 in the league. Napier, a long three. Second effort by Daniels. And a lone Easy look at the rim. Full court pressure forces the turnover, and it's Daniels, the one-handed throwdown. And 
really taken a stranglehold on this game. Daniels backing down. The UConn lead is 13. You're ahead of the pack. Oh, and the deep shot from outside, knocked down by Daniels, the guy we talked about in the open. Down by Wolf. And then at the head of the pack, Daniels. A little weave done for the three. Well off the mark. Hinton finds the loose ball. Fires within one. Oh, but Daniels is alone in the middle of that zone. Bancroft on the wing. Oh, and swatted out of there by Daniels. Croft connect. They don't have a lot of good passers. Not using ball fakes. Lob over the. Oh, that's going to be a goaltending call. Daniels faces up. That's four on Hinton as well. Napier underneath. Daniel. Evans to Napier. Now Daniels, the turnaround. He hits. These are continue with that philosophy. Poland attacks gets rejected by Daniels. This is Rudd with five. Quick release. Daniels got a piece on the doorstep. Daniels open on the baseline. And he gets that to drop. Boat right back out to Poland for three. Strong. Another offensive rebound by Lede. Right back up with it. Rejected. Loose ball. Lose the basketball game if you sit him too long. Connecticut beats the pressure. Boatwright got into the lane. And the two goes down for DeAndre Daniels, who's averaging 11 a game this year. Daniels being guarded by Pointer. There is Daniels. Smooth looking shot. He's got two of the three field goals for Connecticut today. Calhoun beats Borgo. A little too strong on the layup. There's Daniels with a good follow. He's got three field goals. Well, that was a good move by Daniels. Sampson got loose. And it's lodged in between the rim and the glass. And nice extra pass. Daniels gets the two. St. John's closes out this game. For star. Back to Daniels. He drives this time. Good ball fake. And he hits. Falls out the screen. Gets it to Daniels from the free throw line. Knocks it down. Napier goes and gets it. Nice look to Daniels. The perimeter, but off the dribble, Napier gets in, kicks on back now, and Daniels scores. DeAndre Daniels muscles in. So now it's sitting on a seven. Boatwright with a great speed inside, underneath. The wraparound is good from Daniels. It's a very small lineup. Napier, good feet inside the reverse layup for Daniels. All right, we had one on one situation. Still passed it up to get the better shot. Gave it to Daniels for the easy layup. But Archie Diakono finally lost it. Here comes Bump right on the run. Contact, no whistle, but the jam. Well, prior to the. Back-to-back -back turnovers by Villanova. Villanova seem to be having their way. Oh well, first of all, on the dunk by UConn. Oh this is where UConn starting to take advantage on the defense. Wide open look. And I can't remember the last time. As there's a big three-point shot. Great offensive rebound. Giroud couldn't score, 17 offensive rebounds, and then back to the other end for Daniels. Two less of the year contract, they said you can finish up the year. And then eventually they gave him that five-year contract to Andre Daniels from outside. The right trying to break that down. Thomas enters the ball. Oh, and that is rejected immediately. The middle game, he can really shoot it from the three, but he's got to be able to cut to a stop. Daniels, <laughs> how about that three? That's a stretch for Parker. With the dribble coast to coast. 
<laughs> Daniels is there. Oh, Daniels again. What do you think? <laughs> well, well, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> he didn't want to shot. The shot. needs to be able to play in transition. They've got to get something in the half court. Olander dumps it back to Daniels. And in the air and thinks about the three twice. Daniels on the baseline. Turns and fires and rims it in. Napier trying to split the defense and nice entry pass down to Daniels. Napier looks to drive right around Morge and out to Daniels. Face up three. Followed by Melvin for two. In a hurry to the other end, it's Daniels. Like Crockett had, they got to stop, start knocking them down. Yeah, Crockett just 25% beyond the arc. Nice lay in there. Boatwright gets it off to Daniels, and Daniels will drive and score. Nice. Boatwright, what a pass. And Daniels gets another jam. Boatwright with a great dish. Exception off the three as the defense recovers. Smith Rivera has it blocked the rebound in Napier. It's an unexpected bonus because they get 45 a night from their three guards. And now Daniels will try a three. Trowick trying to penetrate back to Lubick. He has it blocked from behind Daniels. Boatwright got it inside. There's the look you wanted and the layup for Daniels. Daniels will try a three. He's hit a couple of those. Daniels will be the trigger man. Off a of Georgetown player and Daniels. What a heads up play. Yeah, Daniels has a mismatch inside. And Daniels will get it inside and score. Trowick. Otto Porter Jr. off balance that time. Follow if they don't hit it. Porter hasn't touched it yet. There he is. Seven to play. Partially blocked UConn ball. Bolt right guarded by Starks. Daniels. Got it. A three for the big guy out of the corner. I'm sure they're both going to get time, but I think they're better with Giffey in the game. Daniels lines it up. The three-point shot has been working for him of late. You got to wonder about that being an NCAA violation, right? <laughs> There's Boatwright in traffic. Daniels there for the finish. He's got five. Here's Parker in traffic and the block by Daniels. Throws it up there. It comes to Nolan. And now Daniels, great interior passing. How about that pass? Right spot for the future, UConn. Gains the rebound, his shot is blocked. That Napier is not, and here they are against the top team, tough team here, with the lead at the half. How about Daniels? Throws it up, it goes in. UConn's got numbers. The lob to Daniels from Boatwright. Down low, gets it over Sanders. Pittsburgh, another team that uses 10, goes 10 deep. Daniels doubled, he'll fade away. DeAndre Daniels, wow. he has really come on strong for UConn the second half of the season. Boat right for three. Daniels, the offensive rebound, the put back in the foul. UConn not giving up. Recoil inside and Poland couldn't get anything going. The defense they stopped shoot around and said, I will not settle for mediocrity. And he was really referring to the defensive side of the basketball. Daniels has four points. Gunning for 20 wins in Kevin Ali's first year. The double came over from Brock. Daniels spun away from it and hit his second field goal. He's got a half dozen points. Well, that's right now because the ball is sticking with whoever has it and everyone else is just standing and watching. Now, again, everyone on the right side of the floor. Tough shot for DeAndre Daniels, who's got eight of the 17 for Connecticut. Bolt right off the Nolan screen. 
Calhoun and Daniels run it down. Daniels takes a three. Two of eight from outside Connecticut for Daniels. We've seen that before. Collins and Rudd on a great connection. Instead, it's Daniels with a deep two, and he knocks it down. And Connecticut right back within one. What a sequence leading to a Stan Heath timeout. Defensive rebound. Lede inside, can't connect on the dunk. Good defense from Connecticut. Lede had to work inside against two tall bodies in Daniels and Olander, and here comes Connecticut. One of ten from the floor in the first half. Daniels was five of nine. And he spins inside to give Connecticut its first lead. Stan Heath calls timeout. He finds Rudd. May have actually kind of stumbled or slipped on his way to the bucket. Here comes Daniels throwing it down on a beautiful feed from Boatwright. Been apparent in this rush to the lead. First the Daniels dunk, coach. We're coming down the lane. That's what Daniels can do when he runs the floor like that. And Boatwright has his head up. Sometimes he dribbles with his head down, but he's got guys flying down the lane. And Daniels is a terrific finisher. Well, he's handcuffed right now. Yeah. He needs to take Boatwright out of the game, but he can't. He has nobody to put in. There's Daniels. Because he's frustrated. He's forcing things. He's not remember them all because there's been so many guys that yeah. have really emerged as top candidates. Daniels, 23 points for Daniels, three off his career high. So, I mean, they are perpetual speed, motion, no quicker duo in this league. Baseline move and the wraparound for DeAndre Daniels. The last three games, Tim, he has been tremendous. Georgetown beats Syracuse today. The Hoyas would have the number one seed. Nice move for DeAndre, DeAndre Daniels after setting the screen. Napier running a three-on-one break. Broken up by Dunn and then cleaned up by Daniels. Three-pointer, that's it. Chris Dunn is first. Daniels unattended, he'll try for three and he's got it. Daniels with double digits in the first half as he continues to have the hot hand and now the lead double digits. Well, this is just way too easy and Connecticut has been playing with a lot of energy, but this isn't energy. This is just passing the ball to a capable shooter on the outside and no communication, no effort. And that's why Ed Cooley calls a timeout. Just confusion defensively. No time for that. This game is. Nice cut to the rim by Daniels, assist Napier. Defensive possession to get any sort of clean look. Daniels able to knock it down. He's played almost every minute. Bax, who just picked up his third foul, has that one swatted. Charge would have a lot of blue right in the lane because they are going in and using the power game, which they should. Daniels into the paint. DeAndre continues to shine. He's got 17. Just his second field goal of the day. He's been limited with foul trouble. Wraparound from Daniels for two. Well, that is there. Providence has not shown that they can stop that play, but Connecticut. Henton inside. Bats offensive rebound. Bothered on the shot by Daniels. About four seconds to go. Here comes the screen. Cotton goes the other way. Henton blocked by Daniels. 